Hello again, so we have reached exercise 10, which is about uh, sorting an array of strings. So we have 10 words, they are stored in an array of string, and we need to sort this uh, 10 words lexicographically using strcmp and strcopy. So uh, what we'll do that is uh, we have an array, so consider that we have just an array of integers, so we already uh, solved this exercises, we have solved the sorting using two algorithms, either using a selection sort or a bubble sort. So here we have just strings instead of uh, an array. So it's, it's a very uh, easy exercise if you have already studied how to sort an, an array of integers. So we have an array of strings, so of 10 elements. Um, so we have here char, we have 10 uh, elements and each element contains uh, a string so let's call it a size and we'll need uh, a variable for uh, swapping so it's already it's, it's a string so it's uh, ox of size and of course we need two uh, variables i and j for uh, the uh, looping because we are uh, we need two loops and we need the minimum variable because we need to find the index of the minimum variable because we're doing the selection sort. So we need first to uh, read uh, 10 uh, variables. So let's say four. So let's here declare 10 with a, a predefined uh, constant. So define and b for example equal to 10. And I will place here and b because later on if you want you can change and b and place 20 if you want to sort 20 uh, uh, strings. So for i equal to zero, i less than and b i plus plus so I will, I will ask the user to enter a string print up let's say enter string number percentage d i plus one so uh, on the screen we'll see uh, enter string number one enter string number two and so on and we'll do a scan up so it's words not string enter word number because we're using scan app. If you want to use a string, you can you should use gets instead of a scan app. So percentage as uh, address of so there's no address here because we are using a string. So a of i. And then so we have read the 10 strings and then we need to do the sorting. So we know that we can use the selection sort or the bubble sort. So we loop over from i equal to zero. Uh, I less than uh, 10 minus 1, so NV minus 1, because uh, as we know in the selection sort, we do uh, N minus 1 passes, uh, and uh, at each time we will take the maximum and place it at the end. So I plus plus, so here we will take the minimum and place it at the at the start. So we'll do uh, an ascending sorting. So here we need to find the minimum, so minimum would be equal to I. So we need here to recheck the uh, implementation of uh, the selection uh, sort uh, from the previous uh, chapter. So for i, we'll start from the second index. So if i start from 0, I'll start from 1. If i start from 2, j will start from uh, 3. So uh, less than and b here, uh, j++. Plus plus. And here I need to find the index of the minimum. So if so how to compare to string? I cannot use here equal or less or, or great. I, I need to use str cmp. I need to compare uh, a of i with a of j. So i here it's min. So a of j with a of uh, min. So if uh, uh, I have found here that the j, the string in the cell j is less than the string in the cell min. So I will update min and I will place j in min. After finishing the loop, I, I, I need to check. So if i remains min, I need nothing to change. However, if min is different than i, it means that I have found a, a string that is uh, smaller. So I need to exchange. So how to exchange? So usually I use aux. I will place uh, the, the, the string uh, a of min into aux. So I cannot write aux equal a of min because this is not uh, 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 one variable. It's a string. So I should copy a of min into aux, so I would use str copy a of min into aux and then I will copy into a of min a of i and then into a of i I will place a of i I place aux 
And this is it. So the trick here is just we are using str p instead of less or, uh, or uh, greater or less. And instead of the equal of the assignation, I am using uh, the str copy in order to copy strings between uh, each, each others. So after that, let's print the array. So print f after sorting. So I will uh, display the 10 strings, i less than and b, i plus plus, and I will uh, print each, uh, uh, each element. So I will say a of percentage d equal percentage s backslash n, and the first one is equal to i, and the second one is equal to a of i. And let's uh, run the uh, program. So we need to enter 10 string. So let's see here. Uh, we have, uh, we didn't uh, uh, put the name. It's equal A. Let's run again. So obviously I will not enter 10. So let's say I will enter just 4. So I will not spend 1 hour entering uh, 10 elements. So let's say 5. So I will enter A, B, C, D, and here I will enter A, S, D, and here uh, just E, and let's say here uh, something like that, and A, B, C, and small d, and then we will see that we have here uh, the string into ascending order. So obviously I have first the capital character because in lexicographically the uh, uh, capital letter comes before the small letter. So we have here A, B, C, D is greater, is smaller than A, B, C, D. And then we will have the one that starts with a small letter. So A is less than E and less than S. So we can play with that and see that it works. So we have uh, uh, sorted the lexicographically the strings that we have entered. So we have used the already known algorithm of sorting algorithm that we have covered in the previous chapter, which is here the minimum selection, and we have sorted the array in ascending order. You can uh, repeat this uh, program by applying the uh, bubble sort if you want, and check that it works too. So if you have any question, do not hesitate to write to me, and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.